Okay, after a technical difficulty, uh, take two here at Pocono for the running of the Justice for Michelle 400. I'm your host, Dragon Knight Cole, and I'm joined by an in-car reporter today. The Q-Man is back for take two. Alright, let's go over... Let's go over the starting lineup for today's race. Starting on pole for this outing, uh, Venna Williams in the Dr. Pepper Chevrolet. She will start alongside Joey Trickle in the Kodak Chevrolet. And in third place, she got Leah Sutton in the Penn, MBNA Penn State Pontiac. She will start alongside Jordan Anderson in the Racing with Jesus Dodge. Starting fifth will be the spring winner, uh, Audra Baranowskis in the M&M's Vote Pontiac. She will start alongside Johnny Gardner in the Miller Life Dodge. Excuse me. Next up, we have Rob Evans in the Bud King of Beer Chevrolet. He will start alongside Jordan Strunk in the Lowe's Chevrolet. Rounding out the top 10 will be the Subway Ford of Boldy Bear and the Pepsi 400 winner, Nick Gunther in the Penn State Chevrolet. Dylan Young in the Alltel Dodge will start alongside the GM Gudrun Oreo Chevrolet of Jordan Bell. The U.S. Army Pontiac of William Brock will be alongside John Gambit in the Sitco Ford. The Skull Bandit Chevrolet of Johnson Thorland will start alongside Jessica Shelton in the Pokemon Soul Silver Ford. Uh, Jay Jefferson in the STP Dodge will start alongside Josh Dixon in the Frosted Flake Chevrolet. Joshua Cooley in the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet will start alongside the Maxwell House Country Time Pontiac. Of Daniel Voiles. The Mobile One Dodge of Chelsea Bowles will start alongside Kyle Matthews in the Coors Light Pontiac. The Rubbermaid Ford of Sky Commons will start alongside the GM Gooder and Chevrolet of Cole Deaver. The Tied Ford of Mark Asachi will start alongside Steve Morgan in the Quality Care Ford. Our in-car reporter is going to be towards the middle to the back of the pack. Uh, Q-Man. Uh, yeah, they're going to be kind of in the middle near the back. Uh, what's going to be your strategy going into this race? Uh, well, I'm on the bottom, so I think I'm pretty safe here. Um, just uh, going to slowly work my way to the front. All right, we'll check back on you in the race. 10-4. All right, Q-Man will be starting alongside Nate Bell in the Office Depot Chevrolet. <laughs> Western Auto Chevrolet of James Qualls will start alongside the Home Depot Pontiac of Ignis Kirksey. The Napa Chevrolet of Hillary Sanchez will start alongside Jim Gambit in the Quaker State Chevrolet. The Kodiak Chevrolet of Jesse Turner will start alongside the Valvoline Ford of uh, Matt Dixon. Bill Parker and the Penske Dodge will start alongside Alex Ferranti in the Lowe Chevrolet. Ken Bell and the Texaco Ford will start alongside Charles Stanford and the Pokemon Heart Gold Ford. The Office Depot Ford of Levi McIntyre will start alongside the Pepsi Chevrolet of Tyler Deaver. Rounding out the field will be Zachary Fitzwater in the Penske Dodge and the Air State Batteries Hot Rod Pontiac of Sean McKean. And in case you're wondering why the track is so bright and why the cars are bright, uh, we're using an, I'm using a new Pocono for this time, the uh, Pocono 2011, because the pit road isn't glitch. Thank you, Bruce slash whichever buffer brother you are. 
Ben Williams is going to be leading them down to the start-finish line for her, I believe, her first poll of the year. Don't quote me on that. I'm not good with remembering polls. Mm. You got Leah Sutton back there. Audrey Baranowski gets the spring winner. She's going to be a car to watch for. And another one is up there in 10th spot. Yeah, 10th spot. Nick Gunther, your points leader. Anyway, pace cars off. Green flags out. Boogity, 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 boys. Let's go racing at Pocono. We're going to see. I'm going to see what camera two looks like going into here. And going into. Oh, that billboard, man. Going into turn one. Vena Wood. Yeah, I like camera one better. Let's see what. Let's see what... Oh. That's actually a pretty nice camera. Vanna Williams. Gonna be going into a tunnel turn here. Oh yeah. It, it, it look... It's better going into two and three, but one, not so much. And we got... And just like that, Joey Trickle goes for the lead. Joey Trickle actually having a abysmal season, but... Seeing him out in front, yeah, that's definitely going to be a uh, picker-upper for him. Joey Trickle leads the first laps of the race. But vet, don't count Venna Williams out. And as soon as I say that, here comes, whoa, Venna Williams. Leah Sutton got up all on Venna Williams' corner panel there. Both of them had to back out. Venna Williams trying to reel back in that 7 car, or the 4 car, my bad, she is the 7. Oh, she's going to drive it in there hard on Trickle. Going to take the lead back. They're getting pretty racy back here. Take a look at where the points leader is. Currently clocked in at 12th. Gunther trying to do well here at his home track. Venna Williams is going to lead her first laps of the race. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, oh my goodness, there's a gap. Nate Bell, Ken Bell, uh, Fitzy, a lot of cars, and Phil Parker with some damage. And there's another car, Marcus Sachi, way back here. And just like that, well, the pack got separated, and now Joey Trickle going for the lead again. This time, Leah Sutton's going to follow him. Leah Sutton now going to take second from Trickle. Now, now you see that second pack is just trying to reel in the first pack. In fact, let's take a look and see where our in-car reporter... As Venna Williams goes back around Leah Sutton. Let's take a look and sit. Ah, Q Man's up the 19th. Let's see if we can get a word with him. Uh, Q Man, do you copy? 10 4. Ah, uh, how's the racing over there? It's getting quite hairy. That's all I got to say about that. Well, you've worked your way up the 19th spot so far. Uh, how's the car feels about now? It's doing okay. Um, it's still early in the race, so we'll just have to see what we have in the long run. All right. So, so right right now, do you see do you see any foreseeable adjustments in the future, or you like the car as it is? Yeah, might. Um... Lower the tire pressures a little bit, but, uh, and that's about it, so. All right, buddy, well, now you're clocking in the 18th right now, so just keep her clean, and hopefully we'll see you up towards the front here later. 10-4. All right, we go back up here to where, where things are just getting jiggy. Once again, it's, it's just been a swap between Williams and uh, Trickle. Now uh, Sutton may go with. Uh, as soon as I say that, Baranowskis dives way down there. 
Baranowskis, oh, three wide for second. Baranowskis is showing why she, she had the best car at the first Pocono, even though technically it was a different model. Pocono 2005, I believe. But Baranowskis is trying to show why she's the ruler of the tricky triangle in that Eminem's vote car. Now we got a that new challenger for the lead, Leah Sutton, the winner of the Coca-Cola 600. Trying to add the Pocono, or the Justice for Michelle 400 to her resume of victories. Take a look. Let's take a look and see where Marcus Sachi is on the track. He's, okay, he's way back here. He's going to be in, like, turn three here. And Philly P is just right there. We go back up here to Bar to Sutton, and it looks like Bar Baranowskis may be thinking to make a move here. Trickle got shuffled all the way back to fifth. And look who's in fourth, Rob Evans. He's someone we never usually see up in the front. But Rob Evans might have found a, found a setup here, so we'll see if Rob Evans can do well here in his outing at Pocono. But coming into the start-finish line, we're going to take a quick replay check to see what the heck happened to the 10 and the tw 12. Well, this was a case of Rubbins Racing. Steve Morgan just gets into the bottom of Marcusacci and just slides right on up. And Philly P just smacks, smacks the crap out of him. And that's what ruined uh, Sachi and Philly P day. Just be... Just glad it didn't turn into a giant wreck. And now, we go back to live feed. Audra Baranowskis has taken the lead. Yeah, taking the lead from Leah Sutton. And she leads her first lap. So, the Spring Pocono winner trying to complete the first ever sweep of a track. But she's going to have to hold off a hard-charging Leah Sutton and Rob Evans. Speaking of which, he's going for second. Rob Evans looking for his first ever win in the series. He's been a veteran since, I think, I think season three was his first ever season. Look at him go. It was either season two or season three, but... Evans has been here a while, and now he has a chance to go big here at Pocono. And don't look, don't look, oh, okay, Sutton, Sutton was thinking three wide, but thought better of it. Rob Evans out in front. Baranowska second, Leah Sutton in third, fourth is Venna Williams, fifth is Dylan Young. Who's going to make a run on Venna Williams? They got Joey Trickle, Jordan Anderson, William Brock, Willie Boulderquake, and Jordan Strong rounding out the top ten. They got Jay Jefferson, Joshua Sakuli, Johnny Gardner, Nick Gunther, Jonathan Zorlin, our in-car reporter, uh, Q-Man has worked his way up to 16th. They got Chelsea Bold, Cole Deaver, James Qualls, Jessica Shelton, Sky Common, Jordan Bell. And there's another gap again with Josh Dixon, uh, Daniel Boyle, Hillary Sanchez, Nate Bell, Zachary Fitzwater, Jesse Turner, Ken Bell, Ignis Kirksey, Steve Morgan, Ferranti, Sanford, McIntyre, McKean, Tyler Deaver, Jim Gambit, Matt Dixon. Oh, John Gambit with some serious side damage. So, there's, there's what seemed to cause the second split. Kyle Matthews way in the back here. Does he have front end damage? Can't really tell. Oh, yeah, he does. He has front and side damage. Philly P... Just trying to coax his way home. And. Sachi. It's, Sachi has lost sight of everything. He's all the way up. And he's just now getting the turn three. 
Baranowskis has retaken the lead here. But Evans trying to retake second. No look now. Here comes here comes the hard charge in Dylan Young. Joey Trickle has gotten back up to fifth. Meta Williams has fallen all the way back to uh, ninth. But it's just the early stages of this race. And don't and don't count your chickens before they hatch. I'm pretty sure that second group will be up here shortly. But Baranowskis out in front again. This time she doesn't have the pure dominant car, but she's trying to hold on for dear life in sweet Pocono. And you got and you got Rob Evans, Dylan Young. Leah Sutton, and now William Brock has taken fifth from Trickle. Take a look and see where our points leader is. Gunther still technically clocking in at 13th, but I think we'll see. Coming to the line, as you see Dylan Young going to try and make a move on Rob Evans. And Nate Gunther still clocking in at 13th, but he just... It's, a, it's early in the race, so there's still plenty of time for Nick Gunther to make a move. As he's going to follow Sekouli under Johnny Gardner. And someone that's fallen back is definitely Venom Williams. But now she's trying to drag race Jordan Anderson here, or at least get up on him. And she does. So Venom Williams might have an early run car, but not so much a late run car. Take a look and see where our in-car reporter has currently gone all the way back to 19th as of now. Audra Baranowska still leads. 15 out of 50. 36 laps to go. Here, here at the Justice for Michelle 400. Let's take a look and see if that second pack ever caught back up. Oh, they're they're getting close. They all they I like how they all unanimously agreed to get single file just for well minus Steve Morgan here making a move. But they all decided to get single file and now they're within striking distance of uh Jordan Bell and the rest of the pack. Nick Gunther falling all the way back to fourteenth. Gunther may be slipping back here. Rob Evans has taken the lead. Scratch that. Gunther has gone back to 16th. And Sky Commons about to take a three wide here. On Qualls and Shelton. That's going to be what causes that second pat to catch back up. Because Josh Dixon's right there. Josh Dixon led that has been leading that second pack ever since uh, Gambit, and that oh we got looks like Gambit and Sachi have just decided to just go ahead and roll the dice to try and get on pit road. We're gonna here comes Baranowskis who retakes the lead. But now they, they're going to have lap traffic up here shortly. And Dylan Young goes for the lead. Three wide for third. And Sachi is literally right up the road. Take a look and see where John Gambit came out. So he got, yeah, he's way back here. Everything just getting a little out of hand here. Now Dylan Young, the native out of Florida, is out front. He leads his first lap. And don't, someone you don't definitely don't want to take your eyes off of as of right now, Joey Trickle. Unlike Venna Williams, even though he, he hasn't been top three, he's... Still hanging around. He's been around top five all day. 
as soon as I say that, uh, William Brock going to try and make a run at him here for fifth place. But Joey Trinkle having one of the better, better races of his career as of right now. So that four car definitely going to be a car to look out for. We go back up here. Leah Sutton going to make the move on on Dylan Young. And Boulder Quake is right there too. Lily Boulder Quake looking to take the lead here. Can he do it going into one? No. And you got William Brock going past teammate Baranowskis. Take a look and see where our in-car reporter is. Q-Man still around 18th. Just trying to hang in there. All right, Q-Man, uh, Dragon Knight Cole up in the booth. Uh, how? And we're about, we're, we're about, uh, seven, about six, seven laps from halfway. How, what do you think of the car right now? It's, uh, not, not as good as what it was earlier, but, um, we'll work on it and, uh, get it better for the end. All right, all right, Q man. Thanks for that report. We'll we'll check we'll check in on you later, and we'll we'll follow we'll follow you in on pit stops. Ten four. All right, that was our in car reporter Quentin Moore. He follow he's gonna be following fifty five and Nick Gunther trying to get around James Qualls. We go back up to our leaders. Dylan Young is still out in front, and don't look now. They're, he's, they're about to catch a Marcus Sachi. Baronowski is going way down low. Can they get can they get around? Oh! Dylan Young had to thread the needle there and force Sachi to go way up high. Sachi with a run! Sachi actually trying to drag race the leader? He he is. But the leaders are just a little bit too fast. And how many laps down does that put Sachi? He he's already one lap down, so that probably puts him two. Now Mark Sachi. Now, now all the lap cars want to try and get around Sachi as quick as possible. You can see they're all trying to dive because they know Sachi is a slow car. And he could have hold up Strunk here a little bit. That's going to separate the top six from, from the front. Here comes... Now here comes Strunk, Brock, and the rest of the pack trying to get around... Sachi. Take a look and see where the other... Oh, Kyle Matthews is on pit road. Meanwhile, it's just a... It's just a giant cluster right here. Where is Sachi? Okay, Sachi is now currently around where the 06 is. So the, the front 12. So now the next car to get around him will be Zorlin. Zorlin going to make a run here. Bennett Williams has fallen all the way back to 13. So she... She really needs to work on her long run car. I mean, her short run cars was like one of the best, but once you get in the longer stages, her car just straight up dies. And Leah Sutton retakes the lead. But Dylan Young going to try and pull a switch over here. And it's going to work. And Joey Trickle goes three wide for third. 
And he has to back off there because good grief that got hairy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, while this is going on, we'll actually, we'll do what we did before. We're going to see what happened to the 21 and the 42 to see what caused them to get their damage. So, we'll be right back as Boldy Bear now goes for the lead. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, the 21 just slowed on down, and Kyle Matthews just punted him and drove him straight into the wall. And that's what caused the 21 and the 42 to have damage and slow down. Yeah, so that happened. And, wait, do we have pit stops? Okay, never mind, because it's like... A bunch of cars just slowed on down for... It like, looked like there was a big gap. Anyway, Dylan Young trying to hold off Boldy Bear. That's just going to bring Leah Sutton right back up there. Sutton, Sutton goes for second. Here comes the thirty, the thirty-one of Jor Jordan Strunk looking for his one of his best run of the season. He needs it because he's dead last in points. Jordan Strunk going around, trying to go around uh, Leah Sutton for second, but Boldy Bear thinking of going three wide here. Is he gonna do it? He is. And Dylan Young is loving every minute of it. Hold on. I gotta check a moment. Where's the 10 car? Okay, he's back. He, he Alright, they, they, they managed to get... Way, he's way in the back now. Poor Levi McIntyre. He, he, he's not having a good run. Look at that. Tyler Devers... Climbed his way up to 28th spot. Maybe he's got a good long run car. But back to point. Dylan Young is now starting to open some distance out on Willie Boulderquake. We're past halfway. It's Young, Boulderquake, Strunk, Trickle, Brock, Evans, Sutton, Sekuli, Bowles. And Baronowskis. And Venna Williams has started to resurge. She was in 13th and now it looks like she's clocking in 11th. So don't count the 7 out just yet. Venna Williams, our Lady Brit. Our, our Lady Brit driver. Then you got Baronowskis rounding out the top 10. Now we go back up here. Boulderquake is just trying to reel, reel back in Dylan Young. Now you got three drivers in desperate need of solid finishes. Up here in the top 5 being Strunk, Trickle, and Evans. All having some abysmal season. But now it's like they're doing really well here. Dylan Young continues to lead. We'll check in. Now to check and see where our in-car reporter is. Q-Man still in 18th. As he watches a three-wide fight in front of him. Hey, Q-Man. Getting close to pit stops. Uh, what, what, do you th what do you think is going to be the play here? Uh. Other, than, other than fresh tires. Yeah, I think it's going to be four fresh tires and uh, fuel. whoever has the best car. Don't forget fuel. Yeah, and fuel. I think we're only going to do, do one can here, so. All right, trying to go ro go for a little roll of the dice. Uh, we're going to try it and see what happens. All right, Q-Man. Um... Currently about 19th, the middle of the pack car. 
I mean, at least, at least you're in the top 20, so hopefully with pit stops, your, your car will be able to improve here. 10 4. All right, go get them, buddy. 10 4. Did you see Q Man going to try and make the move on Jessica Shelton here? Go back up here. It's still. Oh, dang. Boulder Quake went from second or third. Yeah, he went from second all the way back to sixth, fifth here. So now Trickle has reclaimed second and he is ch chasing down Dylan Young. Here comes Sekuli. Sekuli going to make it three wide. Joshua Sekuli had the first ever weekend sweep by sweeping road, the road course weekend at Canadian Tire and Sonoma. Now he's up here trying to go for a top five. But now... It, but as soon as I say that, William Brock says, Hold on, buddy. I I want to go for a win. And he's going to move Sekuli out of the way. Now here comes Chelsea Bowles, winner of California. Ever since she won California, it's been a downhill slide for Bowles. But now, this is probably one of the better runs she's had ever since then. Let's take a look and see where our lap cars are. Billy P's all the way... He's gonna he's heading into turn three right now. Uh Kyle Matthews, him and Gambit are racing are, they're racing for actual positions. So it looks like they're not gonna be in the way as of right now. But Rob Evans, he's going for it. Our first lead change here in a while. Going to be the Bud King of Beer Chevrolet. And Evans takes it. Don't look now. He's got a Subway Ford on his six. And Boulder Quake going to die for it. And here comes William Brock too. We haven't seen William Brock. Well, I mean, he's been up here all day, but I think this is as close to the lead as he's gotten. They're still drag racing between Brock and Boulder Quake. Or, I mean, Evans and Boulder Quake. My bad. Brock is right there. He's trying to follow. He's actually right behind his old ride, which is kind of funny. Boulder Quake lead. Oh, we got pit stops. Boulder Quake, first to pit. He's got Strunk, Venna Williams, and the 33 right behind him. Along with the 28. So we'll see how this affects Boulder Quake. Who's going to lead this pack out? Boulder Quake leads them. And now here come the next set of leaders. Et Rob Evans is going to lead this pack down. See where is our in-car reporter with them. He is not. He's right behind his teammate. All right, who's going to lead this pack? Oh, some cars rolling to die there. Saw Tyler Deaver, Hillary Sanchez. They're rolling the dice here. Rob Evans still leads this pack. Leah Sutton is the biggest loser of this this group. And now here comes the next. 
And here comes the last pack with Johnny Gardner. So Johnny Gardner leading this pack. And indeed, our in-car reporter is with him. All right, so Q-Man, he's taking four fresh tires. And there he goes. Q-Man is actually going to be get out and one of the first cars to get out here. He's the fourth car in this pack. All right. Hey, Q-Man, it's Dragon Knight. How, how do you think you did that stop? Yeah, that was an okay stop. I uh, kind of wish we would have pitted a little bit sooner, but uh, maybe this uh, last group in will kind of help us a little bit. Right, well, right, well, you got you got ways to go to catch the pack, and if you're wondering who's leading after pit stop cycled, it's Willie Boulderquake who came in first. In fact, he actually has a one and a half second lead right now. Ten four. All right, let's see where where our where you, you are clocking in at 17. So you're about where you started when all this started. But since you got some fresh tires, you, you think you can reel in the, the pack? I think so. Like I said, I uh, kind of wish we would have put it a little bit sooner. But um, maybe being the last pack to pit will be the right strategy. All right. Well, you got to think that I'll also give you four, you, you're part of the pack with the freshest tires on course. So you're, if you conserve your rubber, you might be able to do something here within the closing stages of the race. Yeah, and also, I mean, some of them might run out of fuel too, I'm not sure. I doubt that. If they were able to make 30, 30 laps on a tank with a, Coming to 11 laps to go, it's, it ba it's basically going to come down to who has the best car at this point. 10-4. Alright, buddy. You're 19th. Go get them. Will do. We go back to our leader. Wait. Ken Bell has got to be the biggest winner of pit stops. Because he was in the back, and he came in with Boulder Quake, and he was like in 20th. Ken Bell is in six. Give that man props. In fact, he's going for fifth right now. This is the first time we've seen Ken Bell up front all day. Meanwhile, Boulder Quake is trying to cruise on to victory here. But he's got Jordan Shrunk, Rob Evan, Dylan Young, Ken Bell, Venna Williams, Zorlin, Trickle, Bowles, and William Brock. They're all coming. And let's take a look and see what the first group is. Uh, first group of lap cars is in. They're heading into turn two. So, I doubt they probably... They might see them, but I doubt they'll catch them. Anyway, we are officially at 10 laps to go. Willie Boulder Quake is trying to pull off a pitch strategy win here at Pocono. But Rob Evans is charging in a hurry. He's going past Strunk, and he sees Victory Lane. Take a look and see where our point leader came out. Nick Gunther. He is currently in 16th as of right now. It, it, it's, it's a bit of a wave between him and Baronowskis. But if there's anyone that can 
charge and catch a pack, it's Nick Gunther. You want to know if you want to know what I'm talking about? Watch last week's Pepsi 400, where this man literally chased down on a restrictor plate, mind you, by himself, a about one one and a half second lead and chased the leaders down by himself. And one. Anyway, we go back up here. Strunk gonna do a crossover onto Rob Evans. Eight laps to go. Well, coming to eight laps to go. It looks like the top 15 are gonna be the cars participating in this skedaddle. Ken Bell goes three wide. This, this is his time to shine. If Ken Bell has any opportunity left, it's now. And plus, he's second in point. Uh, Gunther's way back here in 16th. He's... If Ken Bell can... Like, he might have the points lead now, but if Ken Bell gets up... Like, if he can get the win, like, that... Pretty much going to solidify the fact that he'll probably take the points lead again. Ken Bell trying to follow uh, Dylan Young. Trying to get past Jordan Strunk. Boldy Bear has seven laps to go. Can he hold on? Boulder Quake rolled the dice. Came in early. And had a one and a half second lead when cycles were all said and done. Now, it's going to be between him, Ken Bell, Dylan Young, and whoever else can get to him. Don't look now. Another car that we haven't seen all day that's slowly getting his way up here. Jonathan Zorlin. The Bud Shootout winner. And it isn't me or that pack getting. Alright. It was last a four and a half second clock. 4.25. I don't think there's going to be enough time. So Gunther pretty much going to be leading. Oh. Uh, Common's going to go under Q-Man there. Sky Commons. Trying to go under Q-Man for 17. But it looked like Gunther... Let's uh, well, even if there was a caution, it'd be the end of the race. So unless Gunther gets some Astroburners, 16th is where he's going to need to settle. Right now, Willie Boulderquake. Coming to five laps to go. Trying to hold on. Take a look and see how... What was the interval this time? 4.10. Yeah, again, it's too little, too late. Unless there was like a... Even if there was a caution, at like, especially now, the race would be over. Now Strunk is just going to go under Young. And that's what Boulder Quake wants to see. The more they race, the more he can get away, but Strunk's right there. He's going to try it. Remember, the 31 did Ray, The 31 did win here at the last Justice for Michelle 400, but it was Joshua Sakuli who is ironically back that, the last car of that pack. Can they... Oh, Dylan Young may take it three wide. Oh! Dylan Young with a balls to wall move, making Strunk get in the Boulder Quake. Young takes the lead. Four laps to go. Can Boulder Quake capital capitalize? Young Boulder Quake Strunk. That looks like to be the three cars. Of the field right now. Ken Bell is trying to reel him in. And Venna Williams has managed to claw her way back to fifth. And now Q-Man back there trying to fight. Trying to take 
16th away from Gunther. He's going to get get back, go back, and here comes Strunk under Boulder Quake. But Boulder Quake looked like he's just going to use the high lane here to get to get a run. And now that's going to put make Ken Bell. Ken Bell's going to take third from Strunk. Coming to two laps to go. Young, Boulder Quake, and Bell are now the three cars. Two to go. Bell Bell knows it's go time. He's trying. He, he's now going under Boulder Quake. Can he take it going into one? Yes. Now he just needs to slide up in front of him to prevent Boulder Quake from getting run on the high lane. But Boulder Quake going to pull a crossover. This is what Dylan Young wants to see. Boulder Quake going to force Bell up the track. Bo and now Boulder Quake has to reel in Dylan Young going into the final lap here. White flag is between Bell and Young. And Sachi is in the distance, but I don't think he's going to play a part in this. Can Boulder Quake make a last lap pass? Last week at Daytona was determined by a last lap pass. Can Pocono be determined by a last lap pass? I don't think so. Dylan Young is cruising. And that's going to be all she wrote because Ken Bell's going to go for second. Going into the last turn, turn three. To take the checkered flag, Dylan Young is going to win the Justice for Michelle 400 at Pocono. Dylan Young had to reel down Willie Boulder Quake, passed him with about three, three to four laps to go, and never looked back. I believe that's Dylan Young's first win of the season. All right, let's uh, let's export our standings. All right. Your official running of the Justice for Michelle 400. Dylan Young is your winner. Ken Bell second. Jordan Strunk third. Boldy Bear gets fourth. And Venna Williams rounds out the top five. Then sixth is Johnson Zorlin. Seventh is Rob Evans. Eighth is Chelsea Bowles. Ninth is Johnny Gardner. And rounding out the ten, or er, rounding out the top ten is William Brock. And Charles Sanford, Joey Trickle, Joshua Sakuli, Hillary Sanchez, Audra Baranowskis, Nick Gunther, uh, Quentin Moore, who we'll have words with after we break down the standings, uh, James Qualls, Jordan Anderson, Sky Commons, Sean McKean, Tyler Deaver, Jay Jefferson, Leah Sutton, who had one of the best cars, but Pit Cycle just messed up her luck, so you got to feel for her. Jim Gambit, Jesse Turner, Jessica Shelton, Matt Dixon, Daniel Voyle, Cole Deaver, Jordan Bell, Alex Ferranti, Josh Dixon, Steve Morgan, Zachary Fitzwater, Levi McIntyre, Nate Bell, Ignis Kirksey, Phil Parker, Kyle Matthews, John Gambit, and Marcus Sachi round out your field. Well, before we go, we'll have some closing statements from our in-car reporter. Uh, Q-Man, you got 17th. 
tell me how how was it in those closing laps? Uh, we just couldn't uh, catch back up with the other half of the field, but uh, overall it was an okay race. So I mean, you were the second car in that pack. You're like you're right behind Nick Gunther, so at least you know you you could compete there. Yep. Well, next week uh, we're heading to. T we're going to be two weeks at Indy. Both Wheaties and the Corn Flakes will be heading to first. They'll be heading to IRP, and then the second will be. They'll be heading to IRP, and then the week after that will be Indianapolis for the Brickyard. Well, it's been a production of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup. I'm your host, Dragonite Cole, and I want to thank the Q-Man for joining me tonight. <clears throat> Thanks for having me. No problem, buddy. And congratulations again to Dylan Young on a, a very nice win at Pocono. And we will see y'all next time at IRP for both Wheaties and Corn Flakes. Take care, everyone.